In today's wrap-up, both the foreign ministries of France and Canada have called on Azerbaijan to release all Armenian POWs. The announcements were made on the official Twitter pages of the two foreign ministries. On top of this, the OSCE chairperson in office and Swedish foreign minister, Anne Linden, said on her Twitter page that she welcomes the release of Armenian captives by Azerbaijan and called for the urgent exchange of all bodies and detainees. She added that we fully support the Minsk Group co-chairs and urge the parties to resume the political processes through them as soon as possible. In mid-March, the Armenian Foreign Ministry announced that interim measures were being taken regarding the 188 Armenian captives in Azerbaijan. So far, 72 POWs have been released. As of May 6th, 8,652 people in Armenia have been vaccinated against COVID-19. 1,600 people were vaccinated in the last day. It is possible to get vaccinated in Armenia in polyclinics and in vaccination points located in different parts of Yerevan. Any citizen wishing to be vaccinated can approach the mobile vaccination group with an identity document, undergo an examination, answer a few questions and then be vaccinated. On May 9th, former president Robert Kocharyan and the parties that will be part of his bloc will hold a rally in Freedom Square. On May 6th, it was announced that the Revival Party of Armenia and the Armenian Revolutionary Federation will run as part of an electoral alliance in the June 20th elections, with former president Robert Kocharyan heading the bloc. The rally will be the formal start of the political pact and Kocharyan is expected to speak. And Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov held talks with the Armenian Prime Minister yesterday. He stated that the Russian peacekeeping mission in Nagorno-Karabakh and Lachin will undoubtedly continue. He stated the following, Our peacekeepers will do their best to resolve the remaining issues related to the determination of a clear line of contact and undoubtedly, demarcations between Armenia and Azerbaijan will be possible when all these steps are implemented. And in our studio, the project coordinator at Freedom House in Armenia, Sosi Tatikian, gives a take on Biden's recognition of the Armenian genocide, as well as Armenia's democracy score in the latest Nations in Transit report and comparisons that can be made with other countries in the region. And finally, in the latest edition of Insights with Erika Kopian, Eric explains the US's sanction waiver topic with regards to Azerbaijan. Eric also gives his take on what holding Armenian POWs and torturing and executing many says about the Baku regime. <laughs>